I think you have to let them let them create. You know, let the creators create. You know, the value of using a creator in, in the influencer sphere is their audience, their network, and the successfulness of a campaign is based on the trust that their network has with them. And if you're sending out messages that get too far away from you know the core of their messaging, be it you know boring, plain, non-risky in some cases messages. I think that detracts from the value and effectiveness of what those posts and campaigns are going to be, which you know ultimately reflects negatively on the ROI that a brand will get from working with creators. Yeah, just work with them. You know, give them a few guidelines, get them to shoot some examples. Uh, if the influencer sends them back or the creator sends them back, and you know it's too off-brand or it's not what they want, then give them another go. You know, give them you know in your contracts you could do two or three reshoots. Uh, this you know common thing. There's re-edits on videos that YouTubers do. They offer you know, shoot this one video. You give me feedback. I'll re-edit it twice. But that's the most you're going to get. I think that keeps you know, it helps to keep the message on brand and on point for the creator. And again, it maximizes the effectiveness of a campaign. I think you can vary it by the creators that you use. You know, the top end hero creators that are going to cost the most money or, you know, be the most effective, uh, you let them go and do their thing because they've got X amount of number of people that follow them because they, they enjoy their, they enjoy the content they put out. And typically you're not going to find a creator that, you know, has that success or has that unique image uh, that just posts anything they want to, anything they're given for a paid ad. And you can underline the campaign by pumping out your, you know, your strict content that you want that says A requirement, B requirement, C requirement, and D requirement to the lower levels that are just going to bring in numbers and back up the campaign. Whereas, you know, the, the big hitters, the hero, hero creators, as you say, give them the freedom. That way you get a good mixture of, you know, cool individual content that, that people love and you get the baseline numbers coming in the, you know, this product, this amount, this budget. Uh, and essentially, you know, fills the numbers that you want from a campaign.